Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. Ms. Lim. Good morning, Ms. Lim. Everyone's okay? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Good, alhamdulillah. All right, so today we're going to start, uh, start a new chapter in grammar, and it's going to be chapter nine, a glossary of usage. I do not have my textbook downloaded on the computer. So you will have to read along with me in your textbook, okay? It's on page 268. Actually, I will start on page 269. Okay, you can see where it says about the glossary. This chapter provides a compact glossary of common problems in English usage. A glossary is an alphabetical list of special terms or expressions with definitions, explanations, and examples. You will notice that some examples in this glossary are labeled non-standard, standard, formal, or informal. The label non-standard identifies usage that is suitable only in the most casual speaking situations and in writing that attempts to recreate casual speech. In other words, it's like plain language. It's not formal English. Standard English is language that is grammatically correct and appropriate in formal and informal situations. Formal identifies usage that is appropriate in serious speaking and writing situ situations, such as if you give a speech or a presentation, or if you're writing an essay, you must use formal English. The label informal indicates standard usage common in conversation and in everyday writing, such as personal letters. For example, if you were writing a letter to, let's say your grandmother or a relative or a friend, you don't necessarily have to write in formal English. You can write in uh, everyday English that we use. In doing the exercises in this chapter, be sure to use only standard formal English. The following are examples of formal and informal. For example, number one is the word angry. And that is the correct way to use angry. We would not say, I am so steamed at Gamila 
or I'm so uh, steamed at Abdallah. I would say, I am so angry with Abdallah. Does everyone understand? Yes. Yes, Miss okay. Yes, Miss Lynn. The next word is unpleasant, which is correct. In formal writing or speaking, we cannot use the word words like yucky. Okay. The next word is agreeable. You would not say, oh man, that's cool. That's not formal English. Very impressive. Totally awesome. That's not formal English. And accelerate, step on it. All right, on page 270, we will start with A and N. These indefinite articles refer to one of the a general group. Use A before words beginning with a consonant sound and use AN before words beginning with a vowel sound. Example, we saw a blue jay and an owl. A hawk flew over us an hour ago. You can see AN is used before hour because hour begins with a, <clears throat> excuse me, hour begins with a vowel sound. Okay, this is a one way street. A is used before one way because one way begins with a consonant sound. Next, we have accept and accept. Accept, accept is a verb that means to receive. Accept may be either a verb or a preposition. As a verb, Accept means to leave out or to omit. And as a preposition, it means excluding. Examples, I couldn't accept such a valuable gift. Why should they be accepted from the test? No one in my class except me has been to Moscow. Then we have effect and effect. Effect is a verb meaning to influence. Effect used as a verb means to bring about or to accomplish. Used as a noun, effect means the result of some action. Example, the bright colors affect how the patients feel. The treatment will effect a cure for the disease. The bright colors have a beneficial effect on the patients. Ain't. First of all, I'll just go ahead and tell you, you should never ever use this word. Avoid using this word in speaking or in writing. It is non-standard English. It used before, several years ago, this word was not even in the dictionary. It is in there now only as a slang word. But before they would not even put this word in the dictionary. Next, we have all the father or all the faster. This expression is used in some parts of the country to mean as, for as, or as fast as, non-standard. This is all the faster I can go. That's incorrect. It should be, this is as fast as I can go. And the next word I'll write, we'll see that uh, in another part of the chapter. Then we have a lot. Do not write the expression a lot as one word. It should always be written as two words. Example, I have a lot of homework tonight. On page 271, we have and etc. ETC stands for etc. Etc. is an abbreviation of the Latin phrase etc. meaning and other things. Thus, and etc. means and and other things. Do not use and with etc. Example, we'll need paint, brushes, dinner, some rags, etc. Not, don't put the word not before etc. Then we have <clears throat> anyways, anywheres, everywheres, nowheres, somewheres. Use all of these words without an S on the end. Example, 
that bird is described somewhere in this book. You would not say that bird is described somewhere in this book. Go down where you see at. Do not use at after where. Non-standard, this is where I live at. You should say this is where I live without the word at. Uh, beside and besides. Beside is a preposition that means by the side of, someone or something. Besides with an S is a preposition, as a preposition means in addition to. As an adverb, besides with an S means moreover, okay? Examples, sit beside me on the couch. The next one is besides songs and dances, the show featured several comedy sketches. And then we have, it's too late to rent a movie. Besides, I am sleeping. Then between among. A lot of people get this confused. Use between when you are referring to two things at a time. Even if they are part of a group, consisting of more than two. Use among when you are thinking of a group rather than separate individuals. Examples, take the seat between Alicia and Noreen in the third row. On the map, the boundaries between all seven countries are drawn in red. Although there are more than two countries, each boundary lies between only two. Among our graduates are several prominent authors. There was some confusion among the jurors about the defendant's testimony. The jurors are thought of as a group. Okay, so do we have any questions so far? Yes. Ms. Lynn? Yes. Um, I don't understand effect and effect. Okay, let's go back. Effect with an A. It is a verb that means, that means to influence, okay? Effect with an E is used as a verb means to bring about or to accomplish. Used as a noun, effect means the result of some action. For example, the bright colors affect how the patients feel. In other words, here, effect is used as uh, like an influence. The bright colors tells us how the patients feel, okay? The bright colors affect. The treatment will effect a cure for the disease. The bright colors have a beneficial effect on the patients, okay? So look at the difference between number one and number three. The bright colors affect how the patients feel. In other words, the bright colors can make them feel more happy, okay? Uh, put them in a better mood because it is the effects of the bright colors. Whereas in number three, the bright colors have a beneficial effect on the patients. It has the effects of the bright colors are beneficial. In other words, um, let me see how I can say this to make it simple. The bright colors have a beneficial effect on the patients. It, the bright colors, the effects of the bright colors are beneficial to the patients. It helps them. Does everyone understand? Hello? Yes, yes. yes. Farah, was that you that asked the question? Me. No. Who's me? Farah. Farah? Laura. Laura. Okay, do you see the difference now? Yes. Okay. It is some of these words, I'll be honest, it's going to take some practice. And another thing, in this chapter, there are many, many, many little tiny rules, okay? 
once we start doing uh, some of the exercises, uh, words like this that are confusing to you will become more clear, okay? So don't worry if you don't understand it at this exact moment. All right, let's go to page uh, 272. At the top of the page, we have the words borrow, lend, and loan. Borrow means to take something temporarily. Lend means to give something temporarily. Loan, a noun in formal language, is sometimes used in place of lend in informal speech. Example, Tazio borrowed a copy of O Pioneers from the library, okay? He took that book from the library. I try not to forget to return things people lend me. This is basically saying you borrowed something from someone and you try not to forget to return the things that they lent, lent you. The next one is, could you loan me a dollar? This is informal. You would say, can, can you lend me a dollar or could you lend me a dollar? All right, the next word, bring and take. Many people confuse these two, it's very simple. Bring means to carry, to come carrying something. Take means to go carrying something. So if you're coming, you're going to use the word bring. If you're going, you're going to use the word take. Think of being as related to come and take as related to go. Example, bring that box over here. Now, take it down to the basement. Sammy, you have a question? No, I just took okay. my hand to answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the next word is also confusing, confusing to many people. Bust or busted. Avoid using these words as verbs. Use a form of either burst or break or catch or arrest. Examples. Even the hard freeze didn't burst the pipes. You would not say even the hard freeze didn't bust the pipes. All right, the next one is when aircraft break the sound barrier, a sonic boom results. You would not say when aircraft bust the sound barrier. That's incorrect. The next one, Molly caught Mr. Whiskers nibbling her tuna sandwich. Incorrect would be Molly caught, I'm sorry, Molly busted Mr. Whiskers. And finally, did the police arrest a suspect in the burglary? burglary. You would not say, did the police bust a suspect? It's very informal language, okay? So let's do some uh, exercise one. For each of the following sentences, we're going to choose the correct word or words in parentheses, all right? Example, everyone seemed greatly affected or affected by her speech on animal rights. The correct answer would be everyone seemed greatly affected, okay? Uh, Afan Uta, can you do the first five, please? Yes. There was complete argument uh, among the members of the council. Correct. The correct answer is among. Is that as far as you will able to hike? Yes. The effects of lasers on the sur surgical producers have been remarkable effects. Yes, it's the second one. You see, the effects of lasers on surgical, in other words, the results of lasers on surgical procedures have been remarkable. You would use effects with an E, that's correct, Arthur. Uh, my schedule, including English, math, science, extra. Etc. Et yes. Etc. Etc. Use the first one, not the second one. That's correct. 
uh, the boiler uh, burst and flooded the cedar. Yes, burst. You would not say busted, okay? Would you continue, Alfred, please? Yes. Lisa promised uh, to bring or take me the new cassette when she comes to visit. Uh, bring. Yes, because she's coming. I don't know where it is. Yes. Uh, please bring or take this note to the uh, manager's office when you go. Uh, take. Yes. You see, in this sentence, you have it gives you a little hint. It has the word go, whereas number six, it has the word comes. So that will help you also. Besides my my aunt and uncles, all my cousins are coming to our family re reunion. Besides. Yes. Uh, miss you accepted my ex excuse for being late. Accepted. Yes, number one, accepted. Okay, good job. Thank you, uh, Alfred. Yeah. All right, in exercise two, we have the following sentences contain errors in standard English usage. Identify the error or errors that you find in each sentence. Then uh, write the correct usage. And of course, if it's uh, correct, you write C. All right, uh, Samma, will you do the first five, please? Yes, Ms. Lynn. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Ben. Okay. Uh, number one, discussions between, uh, between will be among. Uh, number two, um, Uh, we will we will move at yes where the dinosaurs lived only yes uh, number yeah okay number three um uh, and etc will be etc only exactly right number four anywheres will be anywhere correct uh, number five. A uh, busted. Uh, will be broke. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. Good job, Sam. I mean, Sam. I'm sir. sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, no Sparrow problem. Mala, will you do uh the last five? Yes, yes, sir. Uh. On the expedition with some of his students from the University of Chicago, Sereno found the oldest dinosaur uh, unearthed up to that time. Look at the very first three words, Para. On an expedition. Yes, exactly. Uh, besides being in good shape, Serrano's uh, herosis fossil doesn't even look its age. Beside, beside, no. No. It can be correct. Correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, in fact, the 230 million years old skeleton was amazingly complete. Uh, 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 it's going to be except. Yes. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Right. And then uh, the quality of fine, uh, of fine certainly ain't, uh, isn't ordinary. Yes, correct. Serrano and his herosis have uh, have affected affected with an A. Yes. Good job. Thank you, Farah. You're welcome. Okay. Then we have can and may. Use can to express ability. Use may to express possibility or permission. 
Example, can you speak German? In other words, do you have the ability to speak German? Do you know German? Pedro may join us at the restaurant. There is a possibility that he may join you. May I be excused? You're asking for permission here. Then you have could of. Do not write of with the helping verb could. Always write could have. Also avoid had of, ought to of, should of, would of, might of, and must of. Okay? Example, Diane could have telephoned us. You would not say Diane could have telephoned us. Okay? Discover, invent. Discover means to be the first to find, see, or learn about something that already exists. Invent means to be the first to do or to make something. Examples, who discovered those fossil dinosaur eggs? Robert Wilhelm Bunsen, for whom the Bunsen burner is named, invented the spectroscope. Then we have don't and doesn't. Don't is the contraction of do not. Doesn't is the contraction of does not. Use doesn't, not don't, with he, she, it, this, and singular nouns. Examples. It doesn't matter. You would not say it don't matter in formal English. The trains don't stop at this station. You would not say the trains doesn't stop at this station. All right, we've already done effect anywhere. Fewer and less. Fewer is used with plural words. Less is used with singular words. Fewer tells how many and less tells how much. Examples, fewer students have enrolled this semester. Therefore, there will be less competition. Good and well. Good is an adjective. Do not use good to modify a verb. Use well, an adverb. Non-standard. Tiger Woods played good. That's incorrect. You would say Tiger Woods played well. Are there any questions on this page? No. Okay. All right. And uh, page 275. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. While well is usually an adverb, it is also used as an adjective to mean healthy. Example, she does not feel well. We would not say she does not feel good. That's incorrect formal English. You would say she does not feel well. Feel good and feel well mean different things. Feel good means to be happy or pleased. Feel well simply means to feel healthy, okay? Examples, compliments make you feel good. Do dogs and cats really eat grass when they don't feel well? All right, and let's do these uh, exercises. Choose the correct word in parentheses according to standard usage. Examples, today people are using fewer or less salt than they did years ago. You would say, today people are using less salt than they did years ago, okay? Uh, Abdullah, will you do one through five, please? Abdul Rahman Abu Talib, can you hear me? Yes, miss. Will you do one through five, please? Okay. Uh, number one, uh, it will be off. Look at it carefully. Remember we said don't use of after should or could. 
So it should be, you should have written sooner. Okay. Okay, read the sentence, number two. Who discovered or invented what makes fireflies glow? Um, to be who discovered. Yes, correct. Uh, three, don't or doesn't Otis know that we're planning to leave in five minutes? Um, uh, doesn't? Yes, correct. Uh, four, I usually do good or well on what kind, on that kind of test. Uh, well. Yes, correct. Number five, our doctor advised my uncle to eat fewer or less eggs. Um, less. No, here it's fewer. Okay. Continue, babe. He don't or doesn't look angry to me. Um, he doesn't. Yes, correct. If I had known, I might offer have helped you with your project. Um, to be have. Yes, correct. We had fewer or less snowstorms this year than last. To be fewer. Yes, correct. Can or may I please be excused now? Uh, may. Yes. 10. Whoever discovered or invented the escalator must have been ingenious. Um, invented. Yes, correct. Good job. Thank you very much, Alpha Brahman. All right. Uh, Let's do the other exercise and then we'll stop for grammar today. Uh, again, it's the same thing. You're going to, uh, if a sentence contains an error, we're going to write the correct one in there. Hannah Yasser, will you begin, please? Of course, Mr. Yes, Perhaps I should have a not of. Yes. A uh, call before, before visiting you. Who discovered the cellular phone system? Uh, that's correct. No. no. Think of it this way, Hannah. The cellular phone system. Is that something that has been discovered or invented? Oh, oh, oh okay. Sorry. You understand? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Invented. Yes. yes. The beautiful weather is affecting uh, no, affecting my powers of concentration. Number three, um, uh, we will, uh, uh, instead of affecting, it would be affecting. Yes, with an A, correct. Yes. We can decide between this movie and that one, it is correct. Yes. That box contains, uh, let's go, fewer cookies yes. than this. Uh, good because practice went so well, correct? Yes. What effect, not effect yes. with an E? Correct. Have on your grade. Why won't you accept, not accept my help? Yes. Uh, correct. Yes. Number correct. Did you bring flowers to your aunt when you were, uh, when you went to visit? Her in her home. Um, uh, correct. No, no, no. no. Take, take. Uh, yes. Instead of bring. Yes, instead <laughs> of bring, it should be take. Thank you, Hannah. Good job. Thank you, Miss Lynn. You're welcome. Are there any questions? Yes, yes. What is number 10 because I didn't hear it? What number, what, baby? 10. With 10? Yes, uh, bring should be take. Then. Yes. Okay, thank you. Number one. You're welcome. Which one, Yusuf? Number one. Number one. 
um, perhaps I should have. You have to delete of. Okay. Thank you. Never put of behind should, could. Okay. Always delete of and put have. Okay. All right. Hey, Any more nine. questions? Number nine. Number nine is correct. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, I'm not going to give you homework in the grammar today, okay? We'll continue with the grammar chapter nine tomorrow. And we may go over some of the pages during our session. So just make sure you have your workbook, okay? Or then again, we may just continue with the I tell you what we'll do. Let's continue with the textbook. And then I'll assign the workbook for you to do for practice. Okay. I want to make sure that you understand this while we're in the textbook. All right. So if you don't have any questions, that ends our session for now. The next session, uh, we have to kill a mockingbird. Okay. Okay, thank That's you. Fine. Okay. You're welcome. It's done. Yes. Hey, I just want to know which chapter we will lead the next session. Uh, I think we have uh, 13. We, uh, we have, to, I think there's a small part at the end of 13. Okay. Okay.